good morning it's half nearly half ten. Oh my god i need to go i need to go <laughs> phone money keys mask airpod hair clip lip balm are it's like 80 pounds for a tint a shape and a laminate i really like them she was like i don't want to go that dark i was like i do so we've gone a little bit alice darling but i like them and also because i don't have any makeup or fake tan on right now it's not like properly balanced um but i'm really pleased with them and they look so much better than i do at home so this might be like my new little treat really like them they were by blink brow bar i'll link them below it's just like not gifted or anything like that for once, you spoiled brat. Sophie's place and him. <laughs> Hello and yes please. Okay, they look a little bit darker now, but I can't talk when I'm in shops because they've all got really bad Christmas covers on and they're gonna get copyrighted. I don't know how talky this vlog is gonna be, slash, it's just so embarrassing vlogging in real life, isn't it? It's one of the things that really does make me cringe. Really dark. Just had a vegan, my first ever vegan egg sandwich. It was fine. And now just on my way to Soho for my nails. My, my toenails. Stop calling it toenails, say pedicure. So much more eloquent. was relatively aggressive in there really loud music really horrible lighting i bled a little bit as well like blood it just wasn't i feel like i'm at the age where i'm happy to pay a little bit more for an experience i'm not just paying for a service anymore um so yeah i'm not gonna go back there but um if you have any recommendations for any great nail salons that offer a bit more of an experience let me know i'm now gonna go to muji oxford street i think so that i can pick up some storage for my new alex drawers and everything can just be really nice and organized and ignore this we've been dining off it for five weeks now but we have ordered a table it's from hemming and wills we are so excited but it's going to take eight weeks so <laughs> for the next couple of months this is what we have but we're going to have a really big dining table here and i'm really excited for that and it melts all the chocolate and velvetizes to exactly the correct temperature so you can start drinking straight away this is the praline flavor um i prefer the nut milk flavor one the nut milk is to die for taste so divine so good and you can obviously veganize it with um oat milk I'm just checking nothing's on fire work-wise quite exciting i um had a job offer from free people um so i'm gonna work with them which is really good and i feel like i've never really seen chubby people on free people before which is really fun so i need to make some clothing selects um for various categories today i think i'm going live with a uh, lash company today as well uk lash for our campaign oh this is what i was going to say not work related but when i was in the brow chair i got a call from my new gp and she was like you're um you're due for a smear i'd like to book you in i was like fab i have actually 
been hoping that would happen soon because um, so when I was 24, which is in the UK, when you get called up for your first smear, and if you're watching this from America, pap, pap test, pap smear, pap test, I think, um, cervical screening service. And I have only ever had high risk HPV and CIN1, which is like the cancerous changes of cells on your cervix, but like really early stage. And just wanted to take this moment to say, if you haven't booked it in, book in your smear if you are due for it, my goodness. Like, I think it's incredible that, that the screening even exists and that we can catch so many cases of um, cervical cancer so early and treat it in such a mild way. I have always had it since I was 24. I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get um, like kind of like an all clear for the first time ever. Um, in December, I'm going for mine. So I'll probably find out around Christmas time what's going on, but I think I should probably, I don't know whether I'll vlog going to that. I can do, or I can do like a separate video or as part of a vlog talk about it just because I think it's happening to loads of people and no one's speaking about it, which makes you feel like when you get your letter saying that you have it, that you're really alone. And I felt so worried when I got it because because no one talks about it, I thought it was really rare. And we've had so much cancer in our family that it's a, it's a really like, sensitive topic and one that I automatically think of like the worst is going to happen um so wanted to say that and also just please book in your smear um I I was actually going to vlog if I was going to have a colposcopy which is the next stage afterwards a colposcopy and biopsies which I've, I've had I have fairly regularly to keep an eye on my cervix um but this will just be a smear so this is a quick Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Um, anyway, I'm rabbiting on now, but I just wanted to say that if you are 24 or over and you are due a smear and you keep on putting it off, please, please go for it because it could save your life. So, a slightly heavier note for me, but what else was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna make my free people selects. That's a lot nicer, isn't it? Um, and then maybe I'll unbox my Amazon steamer with you and show you my Muji bits as well. Do you know what I mean when you when I talk about shopping on Amazon is such like a really nice process. Like I will long it out. I'll be so happy to spend an hour or two comparing steamers because the process of making that decision just makes me really happy. It's quite niche, although I think when I'm saying this, people will understand what I mean. Like you kind of revel in taking the time to make the decision and it's just pleasurable. Um, that's how you know you're becoming a grown up because you can spend two hours shopping for a steamer. But I went for this one, two reasons. What, three reasons. One, gut. Two, a lot of really positive reviews and I'd never even heard of this brand and I chose this one over a Tefl or Tefl, I don't know how to say it. And then third reason is that you can actually, and I will never do this, so it's irrelevant, but you can steam your sheets. And I got some hate recently for not steaming my sheets. Sorry, I'm too busy to steam my sheets. Well, actually, I'm gonna get hate comments for this as well, getting a cleaner next week for the first time, which I'm really excited about. In my viral foot video, I spoke about getting a cleaner and I got so much hate for it. And I was just like, if you don't wanna get a cleaner, don't get a cleaner. I do want to get a cleaner. I'm, this is quite light as well, I'm feeling positive about this. Okay, next I'll show you my Muji stuff. No, let me show you this properly. And it's got a button that you can press it so it's not con continuous steam. Um, this looks fun though. Oh, and then you've got a button you can press it and hold it down so it stays down. Interesting. I will review this if you want me to, but um, I'll link it below. It's the Buterel Handheld Garment Steamer. This is what it currently looks like. I have these ones, but they're just really awkwardly sized for this drawer. So I'm gonna keep the bigger ones. And I really hope that this will slot down the side. Oh, oh my goodness, it doesn't fit. Oh my goodness, that that's so annoying. Oh well, might have to do for now, mightn't it? Let me guess. Yeah, I could have told you that. Oh, I thought I was gonna have a really aesthetic, satisfying evening and it's just turned into utter chaos. 
Well, that's my evening ruined. People be like, you should have measured it. I thought of that, thank you very much. Um, the measurements are the exterior measurements for the drawers that Ikea provides, not the interior measurements. So the woman in Moon, she was like, we could just guess. We're not just gonna guess. I would very much like to be mathematical and scientific about this. I wasn't awarded that privilege. So, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna use it and it will find its place, I'm sure. As for the rest of this, that's painful. Welcome to what is now gonna be my naked haul section of the vlog. I've got a few pieces behind me to show you and I put together some little outfits as well. And the first part of the vlog turned into like a bit of a beauty one, which I wasn't intending for it to. But I thought I would finish with the naked side of things. So first up, we have this jumper, which is like a cable knit, gray polar neck which is very comfy and very stretchy if you're somebody who doesn't like that itchy you know like wool that you can get this is super stretchy and there is no itch whatsoever and i'm somebody who really can't tolerate any itch um and it's still i wouldn't say it's like super thin but it's not super thick either but i feel like i could layer this under things i love the cable knit detailing down the side here and then it's got kind of like a ribbed a ribbed three-quarter sleeve and the sleeves are quite long as well um, so I thought this was cute and comfortable so I thought I'd wear it for the video and keeping in the knitwear theme is this camel beige really thin again really comfortable very stretchy knit this is a lot thinner so it's so good for layering and my Pinterest board at the moment is pretty much like black white grey and beige as per this video as well and this is just really good to put under coats when you want another layer. This could be sandwiched actually on a really cold day. So you could have like a stretchy thermal, like really thin thermal underneath this and then a coat on top of this and you'd be so cozy, but still look quite chic. And it's got one of those necks that isn't long enough that it's annoying. This is a good neck as well because it like comes out and I can get double chin from some of the polar necks and the knits but these two don't give me that but this one is quite a short one um so it's not irritating at all i think it would look so nice with gold jewelry you could style it so easily with like blue jeans black jeans white jeans all the jeans or skirts um and then it's got this line down the middle which i think is just a really nice detail and makes it look more expensive than it is so these two are just such easy versatile knits that you can have in your wardrobe and then next is my first ever shacket and so I wanted to go for something quite plain. I didn't know if it was gonna suit me, but I think they are so good at like cinching in the waist and giving you warmth, but then also structure and still being flattering because a lot of the coats just kind of cover your figure. Um, and I love this beige color. It's like a cool beige, I would say. Very neutral, so it makes it so easy to style. And I think if you're trying a new piece that you haven't tried before, it's normally quite good to go with something neutral just to give it a fair chance and see how you feel about it. But I really like this one. It feels very high quality. And then it's got little details like a cuff here with a button and then some really quite deep pockets here, which are very practical. So I really enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about me in a jacket. And yeah, because of the color, you could easily do like an all white, all black outfit with it, mix some grays, or you could do it tonal, and you can use like loads of camels and beige. So very easy to wear, and just another different shape to have in your wardrobe. I think that's really helpful thinking about where the gaps are in your wardrobe in terms of shapes. So it's like, with my jackets, I have short ones, I have long ones, I have ones that are better for like spring or autumn. Um, so just thinking about different styles that can kind of fill different holes in your wardrobe. Next item, again I'm wearing them because they are so comfy and fit me so well. The EU46 on Naked suits my 16 slash probably more, I was always like a hybrid 16 slash 18 but I feel like I'm a solid 18 now. And the EU46 and the XXLs work really well for me if you're thinking about shopping on Naked and you're not sure about sizing and you're the same size as me. They're also, everything's coming up long enough which is a really nice thing because I think a lot of 18s fit me width ways but they're not always length, especially trousers. And just thinking about my Pinterest board, I'm really loving black trousers at the moment. I'll show you the ones I'm wearing now in a cutaway. They are very, they just fit so well. And then the kind of trouser that's really comfortable to wear, but that you could equally 
put together a work outfit for it and I am so new to this but kind of bringing that workwear tailoring into my wardrobe and dressing it in a way that's more casual and putting it with like a trench or knitwear or some white trainers and it works so well and I've been doing that recently and I'm really really enjoying it so I'm going to carry on doing that and I was missing some black kind of tailored trousers so I have those now I actually picked up another pair of black kind of almost workwear trousers that I'll show you. But honestly, try throwing one workwear piece in there and then styling it with really casual bits and I'm really enjoying that look. The next one I love, and I think you will as well, you know I'm such a fan of print and ignore, there's a tiny bit of makeup on the collar here, but first of all, the collar, the fact it's got this black border with cream underneath, I think just makes it look so posh. Um, and then it's a zebra print knitwear piece just because I think this with like black jeans and boots is so cool. Throw a trench over the top for that like neutral black and white color scheme. Um, but it, it's really comfy again, really stretchy, zero itch. I haven't chosen anything with an itch in and it's slightly cropped as well, which makes it easier to tuck into high-waisted trousers. This definitely isn't like an oversized long one. This is just a perfect fit. And let me just check the size on this. Again, EU46. But my favorite part about this jumper is that border because I think it looks just so posh and again, way more expensive than it is. So I really like this one. And my prediction is this will be the most popular of the haul. The next one is the pair of trousers I was talking about. They have a an elasticated waistband. They're actually an EU48, which I feel like that's a UK20. I think that is. Um, they are so long, like almost a little bit too long on me. I'm five foot 10. So if you find that finding black trousers, you can never find them long enough, I would really give these ones a go. Because they're so long, I paired them with a black heel just to give me a bit more height. Um, and then I think I put it with like a black shirt and it just looked like a really great evening look. But if you are tall, I would really, really recommend these. They are extra comfy because of the elasticated waist. They just have like that oversized fit, which is something I can never get when trying on something like a black kind of tailored workwear trouser. I just can't get them to be the right size for me, which is why I sized up. And they also have some pockets as well, but I just thought you could wear them in so many different ways. And I really liked how I did like a dinner date night look with these trousers. And then this is the shirt that I paired those trousers with. Again, it was slightly oversized. I love the way they styled it. The model looked so good on the website with it. And it's just like a black flowy oversized shirt. A black shirt is something that I need in my wardrobe. I did have one before, but it just, I'd worn it too much and it got, it just didn't look its best. So I got this one. This is, oh again, this is a EU 48. So I think a size 20. So it's a lot larger. Um, one of the things I love about Naked is that they have a dedicated plus or curve section. So there's actually stuff that I can get in my size. And then um, it has this shoulder detail, which is like a bit of a puff shoulder and just makes it look a little bit more like evening wear but i styled this as well with jeans um in one of the cutaways and i thought that worked as well that kind of contrast between something slightly smarter with a pair of jeans with some boots i think is good too but just wanted to say that if you don't have a black shirt in your wardrobe get one because they are so key then i would say this is my personal favorite item from the haul are uh, these jeans. I hadn't tried jeans from Naked before on my other two hauls, but I wanted to give them a go just to see. I'm really not very adventurous when it comes to giving other jean brands a go just because I really find that they don't fit me. I've got fairly wide hips, but quite a small waist and then quite chunky thighs and then they need to be quite long and I want them to be comfortable and have a little bit of stretch in them and then just like fit me in the right places and be easy to style. So it's a really difficult list to satisfy. And I got these blue jeans and I'm so impressed with them. I'd say the denim is, it does have um, stretch in them. So, I just find that that makes them so much more comfortable and fit to my figure a lot better. And I don't feel like you can get many straight leg jeans with that ability to stretch because it tends to be that more stiff denim and that just doesn't work on me at all. So I was really pleased that I tried them. They are so good. I've been wearing them so much. They're really comfortable, but they are, they're just really great. If you haven't given naked denim a go and like me, you're a little bit, 
um, hesitant, then check them out because I really, really enjoy wearing these. Let me know what you think of them on me as well because they are just so comfortable and I've really enjoyed them. And I love this medium blue, which I wasn't able to find for a while in any kind of style that I liked. So these are a winner. Then I got these boots. Have I bought naked shoes before? I don't think I have. And I just really liked the fact, again, that they were different from any others I had. It's kind of like a suede, almost Western boot. Um, but I thought they'd go really nice with blue jeans. And they're very comfortable. Um, and they're just this really lovely tonal suede, which um, I think is very easy to style, something I haven't had. And I think they would look so good with like a white or an ecru jean. And what's really nice is when the jeans are actually slightly too short on you, like slight ankle swingers. I think that looks great with this because these have quite long kind of socks on them. So when the boot looks like it's going further up the jean and the jeans a little bit short, I'm not explaining this very well, but it just looks really nice. I think this might be the second most popular item for the haul. Um, I love polka dot. I've been told of before saying polka dot, it's polka dot. This is like a mid thigh dress. I love this pattern so much. I think it's so flattering on curve. I don't know why. It has an elasticated sleeve as well. So you can either have it down to your wrists or you can like pull it up to here and it stays there because it, it's elasticated, which I think makes so much sense. And then it has a drop waist. I usually don't go for drop waist because I have a smaller waist. So I tend to make the focus of something around my waist because it's more flattering. Um, but I thought I'd give this a go anyway and I really like it. I thought it was quite good for maybe Christmas time, a good Christmas day outfit. Wore it with some really comfortable tights and some black boots, but I feel like you could also wear it with Converse trainers and just, again, style it in so many ways. But I think just having a throw on dress, which looks like you've made more effort than you actually have, is such a hack. And I recommend this one so much. Everything in this haul has been so impressive and so good. And, um, and then it's just got buttons that go down the middle as well. So you can choose how like open or closed you have it. Penultimate item of the haul is this black quilted bag. Looks so nice, it feels so nice. Is very light. One of my design handbags, which I'm actually tempted to get rid of. I'm really feeling very icky about designer right now. I don't know why. I just don't feel like I want to spend my money on designer at all. I can't explain it. I feel like there's just a lot of it on Instagram and I'm just not about it at all. So getting bags like this, which look really high quality and feel great, but don't cost so much, is definitely more my vibe now. I've noticed that this quilted style is very in. So again, in honor of kind of filling holes in my wardrobe, I thought this would be so easy and good to style with. It's like a little bit of detail, but not too much detail. The accessories on Naked, I love so much. Um, and I also feel like you never need to worry about whether something's gonna fit or not with accessories, which is quite good. But um, if you need a few more accessories in your wardrobe, go and check out Naked because I really like them. Remember in the last couple of hauls, I got that green beanie and that leopard bucket hat, which I wear all the time. I just love them so much. And I think they choose really like trendy, but cool items in their accessories. Could not end on some kind of mega piece of fashion which is this mask. Also, I fake tanned last night and it really clung to my hands, which I probably should have apologized for at the beginning. Um, but I didn't have any black plain masks. And sometimes when I'm wearing, e.g. my leopard print bucket hat, I just need a plain mask to go with everything. Um, recent guidelines have said that we now need to wear masks inside. And of course, like on TFL, um, I always, always wear a mask. And I wondered if Naked did any in their accessories section, and they do indeed. Um, so I picked up these that come in a multi-pack and they're this like, it's like an, I think it's like a neoprene kind of fabric. And they just look chic. I don't know, but um, I just thought I would throw these in anyway and talk to you about them. So that's the end of the haul. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'll put all the links for all the naked items below and the sizes that I chose and everything. I'm really enjoying going up a size recently. I just think that baggy oversized fit is definitely more me. And I'm just liking the way that things are looking when they're styled slightly oversized. I think with curve, we've always been pushed to kind of 
wear quite figure hugging form fitting tight stuff and that's not always the comfiest so i might be wearing some more 20s and also i will wrap up the vlog here thank you so much for watching i hope you're really enjoying the vlogs i'm enjoying making them so much and it's so nice to fuse elements together like beauty and fashion like i did in this video so let me know what else you would like to see from me vlog wise i feel like i shouldn't say this but i'm going to anyway i'm trying to persuade the boyfriend to get behind the camera he's got this mega camera that we discovered last night and it made me just so excited about recording it's so beautiful like, it's so much better than this camera this is still a good camera but his camera is ridiculous and i was like please can we do a vlog together but um i don't know we'll see i might have to persuade him a bit and i said obviously you don't need to be in the vlogs but and he he was like well yeah not at the beginning so maybe he might feature one day um but yes thank you for watching all links will be below and i'll see you in the next vlog slash video bye